what's up guys something a bit different just going to talk a little bit about atlas and will atlas be as big as arc in the future and this is from a question i got sent on discord from viventiex i really hope i got your name right buddy i'm sorry if i didn't apologies um i hope you nailed it but you never know so yeah i was just going to answer him there's a few other questions i'm going to add on to this that was in his message but that's like the main the main big one here and the reason i've done a video on it is because normally i would just respond to a question whether it's a message or a comment etc and um, yeah it's nice to interact with people so i normally do always answer questions and things like that or give my opinion on something but this is really interesting the things that ventiex asked um really got me thinking and i would love to hear some of your guys opinions on these questions so um yeah i'll put the message on the screen it should be on the screen here now somewhere and um i've broken it down into a few different questions or the same questions but broken them down and uh yeah we'll go through them so like i said at the start and obviously the title of the video as well probably will atlas be as big as arc in the future and is the new map a step in the right direction it's a difficult one um again this is just opinions there's no way for anyone to really know this um but yeah in my opinion yes it could be <laughs> it could be as big as arc um but it really depends on the future development of the game and how they go about things and mainly it depends on pvp and I've said before, I'm a PvE player at the moment because of work, etc. Um, I just can't commit to PvP in a way that I'd like to, so I don't play it as much as I'd love to, because I love the PvP on Atlas. Um, but the reason why I say it mainly depends on the PvP, and I know PvE players are going to hate this. Although PvE at the moment is what is keeping the game alive, and the PvP players might not like that, but that is the truth. I think, as far as I know, the, the PvE is the majority of the players on it. For the most part for the last few months at least um but pvp is going to be the big draw to this game i've said before it was always the intention of this game to be a pv pve game not one or the other um and yeah the pv is for if you don't want to do any pvp whatsoever and the pvp was initially or i believe the intention was to have it like eve like I've mentioned before, where you fight for control over different areas, and rather than having one big alpha tribe like you end up with on Ark, you would end up with multiple big companies that could fight over and negotiate treaties, etc., and create a player-driven economy and a player-driven security system, effectively. They haven't got that right so far, and it caused big problems in PvP, and uh, also with NTX, meant, again, I'm really sorry if I'm butchering your name, dude. I really hope I got it right. But um, yeah, in the, the message, it mentioned that P you know a lot of people think that PvP is bad on Atlas and you know there's a lack of ships. I'll mention the ships um, in a little while, but the PvP, obviously, we're talking about at the moment, um, it's, it is what it is, and it does need a lot of work. If they get it right, it will be bigger than Ark because it's a bigger game than Ark. And I don't mean obviously it's Ark's super popular, but I mean like Ar Atlas as a game is bigger, like the map's bigger, everything's bigger, there's more to it. And I know people will say there's no content to Atlas, but I believe if you think that, you've not really um, sunk your teeth into it properly. Um, so, yeah, it's just a big game. And if they get the PvP right, it'd be amazing. Like, it's got to be amazing. I mean, who wouldn't want to sail around in a massive fleet of ships to an island to conquer the island and jump off your ship and engage in player-to-player, hand-to-hand combat or with old-school muskets? You know, it, it's a really good concept. At the moment, um, it's not been what everyone wanted. And there's been a lot of problems with it. And obviously, it's been left behind while Ark's been super popular and getting more and more attention and arc genesis blah 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 so yeah atlas got a little bit left behind 
we're getting a new map which is obviously a step in the right direction they've shrunk the map down a bit to 11 by 11 which someone pointed out to me is actually quite a lot of land to lose and you're right um, i can't remember what the maths was but yeah it's quite a substantial uh shrinkage <laughs> i guess um yeah it's been shrunk down quite substantially but it's still a big map um 11 by 11 grid you know it's still big um that is going to create, uh, you know, obviously less area, um, but it's going to mean more players in a smaller area, obviously, which will create better PvP, hopefully. But also, I think they are going to look at a lot of the problems with PvP, balancing issues with damage, etc. And um, when they said PvE is going to take a new direction... You know, I've been thinking about that a lot. Like I said in the video when we talked about the update, um, it doesn't mean PvE is going anywhere. There's been a lot of people, and it's doing my head in, to be honest, a lot of people arguing and leaving comments on my videos as well about me saying about, um, I don't care about the PvP, I don't want to play if there's no PvE. PvE isn't going anywhere. No one has said PvE is going anywhere. I don't know where this has come from. You can go and look through the, the update reports on the website. You can look through the patch notes. They never said that. They said it's taken a new direction. Now, like I said, I've been thinking about this a lot. One thing they could have meant by that was they're going to change a lot of the mechanics. They might just mean that the taming is going to be different. The boss fights are going to be different. Maybe there's going to be a different way of leveling up. That's PvE content. It's nothing to do with PvP. So maybe that's what they meant. And um, no one said anything about PvE servers disappearing. I do not know where that's come from. If one of the development team has said that, then please point me in the right direction. But I've not seen that come out of anywhere to do with Grape Shot. So it isn't happening. They said PvE is taking a new direction. Like I said maybe possibly again no facts <laughs> to back it up this is just speculation maybe that means they're going to change a lot of the mechanics which because of the style of the game when it affects one it will normally affect the other when it comes to pve so pvp players that equally crap all over pve and say that pve is crap doesn't matter it really does matter to pvp because the way that pve works will affect how pvp works because if they change taming, it's across the board. It's not one or the other. So, um, yeah, maybe that's what they're going to do. Maybe we're going to see these changes that it needs, you know, especially with the balancing. Um, and, yeah, if that is something they're doing and they get it right, then, yes, I believe, personally, is my opinion, that um, Atlas could be bigger than that. We'll have to wait and see. I'd love to know what you guys think to that question um and again it's opinions no one's right or wrong there's no facts here on this this is just whether you think atlas will be bigger than that um and it's an interesting debate like i said i think if they get the pvp right if they get the issues addressed that they need to with the balancing then um yeah there's no reason why it can't be uh, the only problem is gonna be the negativity around the game already and the bad launch and all the other stuff so I don't know. But I think if they get it right, it will be enough to, you know, reignite the flame and get people interested. So, yeah, I'm excited. I, I really hope it does, and I'm looking forward to it. But, yeah, there's my opinion. I think it will be if they get it right. So we touched on as well that um, the Ventiex... Really sorry if that's wrong, dude. <laughs> Keep saying it. So I mentioned one of the other points was about um, people saying about PvP being bad and also the lack of ships. Now, um... They have said in the past they wanted to bring out new ships and they couldn't do it because they wanted to wait for the stability of the ocean to be fixed. That hasn't happened at the moment. That's why we've no, never seen a ship in an update. Um, I mentioned it recently and I've actually got a video coming out soon of me losing a ship to this. But sometimes you'll go into a grid and it's like your ship's out of sync with the ocean. So... One minute you'll be under the water with just your crow's nest sticking out at the top. And another minute you'll be flying above the surface of the water. Um, and yeah, it's a real pain in the backside. Um, that is, I guess, what they were talking about with the stability. Um, so when they get that fixed, we will see new ships. Again, if that's something they've been developing while they were making this new map. 
and something they've worked on, then maybe we will see some new ships. It would be amazing for them and for the you know to get a good buzz around the game when they do drop the new map if there was a new ship with it. I don't think we're going to see a new ship come out with the first update. Um, but yeah, I think if they get the stability, we will see new ships. They definitely plan on bringing more ships to the game. So um, yeah, it'll just be a matter of time before we get them. Again, it's early access. These things take time. I'm not forgiving them or um, saying that's an excuse. I'm just saying it is early access. And typically in early access, you're going to see things get fixed and worked on before you see extra things come in. They mentioned when they've talked about the new ships previously that, um, like I said, they wanted to wait for the stability. And the reason being was that if they release new ships before they fix the stability of the ocean, it'll make it much harder to address the issue. And also, they'd have to, you know, change the code and stuff with the ships, and the more ships are, the longer it will take. So if they fix what they've got now, and the ships they've got now, when they release a new one, there won't be any issues. So that's the way they want to go around it, which is why there's going to be a delay in that, a big delay, and there's no time stamp on it they've not said when that's going to be a thing they've just said when they sort out the stability of the ocean so um yeah there's that that's interesting and exciting i really hope we see some new ships soon there's a lot of different ships they could bring out and yeah we'll see what happens and the last point was will the devs listen to the criticism from the player base and will it affect their vision for the game in my opinion um and again, I would love for, to hear your opinions on these um, questions and ideas, guys. Um, and in my opinion, um, I don't know whether they will listen to it or not too much. I hope they don't. I really hope they don't. The trouble is, as players, we all think we know what is best for a game and what needs to happen. And, um, you know, I'll often be on Discord with my mates. We'll be playing a game and we'll be, you know, chatting away about, oh, they need to fix this or this. You know, not on Atlas, but on any game. You know, there's always, as a player, you always find things you think could change. And uh, sometimes uh, development teams will listen and it will ruin a game um, because we don't know what we want. That's the truth of it. You don't know what you really want. Um, the only thing they should listen to is when you know a big portion of the community are pointing out bugs or if a lot of people are saying, oh, this needs fixing, particularly with balancing and stuff like that, which normally development teams do listen to. So, yeah, I hope they listen to that stuff. But regarding changing their vision for the game and what they want the game to be, no, I don't think they will because that would be like telling, you know, it'd be like telling um, a, an artist, a painter, while they're painting something that, oh, that's terrible, do this. You, you wouldn't do that. And also, if you did, they'd probably tell you to go away very unpolitely because that's their creation, it's their artwork, it's their vision. And when they're finished, it's up to you whether you like it or not. And um, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. You move on. Um, but And gaming is the same. Game development's the same. It shouldn't matter what we think. Um, to, it sh Let me rephrase that. It should matter what we think, but not when it comes to the vision. Because the vision was someone's idea that they wanted to make. And again, you wouldn't tell... Uh, you wouldn't tell Metallica when they're writing a song and you didn't like it, change it. You wouldn't hear it. You'd hear it when they're finished with it. And when it's done, it's done, and that's the end of it. You know, it, game development is an art. It's an art. And um, it's someone putting their idea into reality. And then, like I said, when it comes out, you either like it or you don't. Should they listen to us when we talk about bugs and balancing, like I said? Yes, uh, to a degree. Not when it comes to vision. We don't know what we want. Um, and I don't care what people are going to say to that. It's true. You think you know what you want and you have an opinion on things. And I'm the same. I'm not ruling myself out of this. I'm exactly the same. But like I said, that when you play games, you, you think you want something to improve. And sometimes you get what you were asking for and you hate it. <laughs> so, I mean, 
you don't know what you want um and it would be dangerous for for a development team to do that it could jeopardize the future of a game and i know atlas is in dire straits as it is um so yeah they absolutely shouldn't they should do what they think is best as a development team they're game developers that's their job that's what they do i'm a lorry driver that plays games i have no idea what it takes to make a game so they definitely should not listen to me and that is the same for anyone else playing the game it has nothing to do with game development it, it's their thing let them get on with it and we'll either like it or we won't just quickly to add to the um, point of should uh, the developers listen to us as players i've mentioned i'm probably getting trolled this because i always mention star citizen because i love it but he, star citizen gets heavily criticized for the amount of time it's taken to develop um and it also sometimes gets put under pressure for um the detail they go into of things that people think are pointless and uh, not that atlas are doing that but my point is that cig the developers of star citizen ignore it and they just keep their heads down and they keep going with their vision and they keep working towards their end goal their end vision and uh, just working exactly how they work on it and that is the end of it and the result of that is a breathtaking amazing game with not really anything you know close to it with its detail and the way it works and that is because they just get on with their vision it would be dangerous for a developer to um, waver or to move away from their vision because it would end up not being their vision and probably end up a disaster because they wouldn't like it it wasn't what they wanted and people would hate it because like i said people don't know what they want until it's there so yeah just a little bit of extra there on my thoughts as to why they should just keep going with atlas go with their vision try and make it work and like i said a few times pvp is going to be the key to the success of this game and to whether or not it will be bigger than arc in the future yeah like i said guys let me know down below your thoughts and opinions on this It'd be really interesting to see i hope i'm right i hope one day it's bigger than arc but like i said that's my opinion and there's a lot of ifs <laughs> within that um you know a lot of things need to go the right way i hope you found that interesting guys i hope you interact with this and leave your thoughts and opinions and again guys this is all opinions there's no need to get um angry and trolly with people about this it's all opinions there is no evidence of anything happening with the game again i don't know where the pve stuff come from with pv going all they said was different direction so um yeah keep it civil let's have a discussion what do you reckon Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.